Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 31 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. Uh, in the off time, I grinded up uh, Christos a bit. I got him to level 181 by using martial training and whatnot. Uh, but I didn't reincarnate him, so he's still kind of weaker than most of the other people. I actually equipped him with Durandal, the uh, super broken sword that I had made. Uh, yeah, this one, to give him a lot more attack and just had him use... Uh, had him use the uh, piercing light, because... Uh, this goes, I believe, based off of whatever your main, uh, whatever, like, main attack weapon you have on at the time, so it was going based off of his attack, which was really useful, because the sword has a shit ton of attack. Uh, and it's right now, shop. in the cheat shop, I have it adjusted for max mana, because I did upgrade, ooh, I should probably change that, yeah, two is fine, uh, because I did, uh, boost some people's skills, um, just show you them. Damn it. Uh, menus. I'm sorry. Uh, I upped Hellfire shots. So now each time it's 235. Uh, I also upped Rising Heaven, so it's 314. And I upped a few of these. Up Dazzling Eyes, Battle Orchestra, Two Hand. So now most of these skills are in like the multiple hundreds. Uh, I upped Parental Meteor. Uh, and because like the power grade is also better, so now they should be like killing people easier. Uh, and I only have two days left on the curry, so after I do two of the story battles, I'll actually make, I'll uh, actually consume the curry that's queued up right now, and then I'll make another one, which will be even better than the one I have queuing up, because I have somas, which are the, uh, right now the best ones I have. So like 38,000 and 3,000 for SP, and then all of these are a lot better. Because last time I had a couple Somas, but then I had to use an Immortal Pill for the last one. So this next 100 duration... Where would you like to go, dude? Uh, well, the, ne the one after this next one will be very good. And so that means, unless I do another battle, it will most likely be... Uh, I'll be on the next Plate of Curry after this chapter is done. You should just come along peacefully and obey. You're overreaching, trying to destroy Lord Void Dark's magical spear. Even if you destroy the spear, you took too long. Most of this Netherworld's energy has already been absorbed. You still want to fight? This Netherworld may crumble today, but that doesn't mean I've lost my pride. Pride? How idiotic. You're gonna waste your life over something like that? I was truly embarrassed when I heard that a nobody was leading a rebel army to fight against Void Dark. What was I afraid of? Is losing my life that shameful? An overlord without pride might as well be dead. If death is my fate, then I'll die fighting with pride in my heart. Kilia, over there. Looks like there's still some left, Blip. Let's go help. Yeah, it's an ambush. Be careful, everyone. It doesn't matter. Let's super bust through with guns blazing. Don't underestimate them. They've been ordered to protect the magical spear, so they must be elite troops. I don't care if they're elite troops. Sir Kilia? I don't ever want to see anyone else suffer because of Void Dark. Okay, so right now I have mana all the way up. That way I can, uh, because... Uh, what is this pain? My chest feels like it's ripping apart. If you keep this up, I'm going to be unleashed whether you like it or not. You've reached your limits. You can't hold me back anymore. It's almost time. Aren't you finding it difficult to hold me down? How long are you gonna lie to yourself? Your true nature is to slaughter and destroy as tyrant overlord Kilidia. Now, unleash me. Just be honest with yourself. 
Don't suppress your impulse to slaughter and destroy! Please, I must withstand this. I can't let this end here. Let's go! Okay, so that was, uh... That was him being apparently in pain because of how much his dark self is uh, trying to bust out. Okay, so now let's use some of my upgrade moves. It's my turn. Um, no, not good enough. Still not good enough. Damn, I did upgrade top knot. Still not good enough as well. God. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go with Asalia, hopefully. Um, yeah, there it is. Finally, never I got run that away anymore. Never gonna run away anymore. Put that in a tombstone. My um, so now Christo isn't complete absolute garbage, but I think the uh, reason as to why he isn't as powerful is because out of all the characters, he has like the worst equipment. Like I haven't item worlded any of his equipment, so that's probably why he's not doing so hot. In terms of Thank you. Power. Uh, yeah, they just turn into a cool. Hey, Giga Ice. It's always nice when you see when you get a mastery for uh, defense. Um, can I overload? Yes, I can. See, his overload yeah, is really you. useful. But the simple fact that I now have so many more characters yeah, yeah. with which I can attack with. You. Yeah. And they all have super high range. You! Um, you are very resistant to all magic, so I want to just... I want to just hit you, essentially. Um, and I'll just shoot you. I'm gonna send Salia back there, just normal attack. Uh, let's see how... Still not doing too good, right? Okay, yeah, see? Piercing Light goes to whatever the main method of attack you have equipped. So right now it's attack hit, because that's a bows thing. But if I go back here, now it's int. Uh, so I just need to get him better weapons, essentially. But what I will do is that, because I don't believe we've seen that uh, skill yet. Yeah. So... Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just parried most of it. Hey. Oh, well. yeah. I'll support you. Freezing light. Let's I don't go. think we've seen this. Because I don't use Christo often enough to have seen it. I'm not gonna act, I'm not gonna try and proc the skip by hitting X either. Okay. Uh -huh. And can I nope. Little too Damn. Uh, I wish Killia's range there it is, killer spin. Wish his range was a little bit longer. But unfortunately, it is not. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. going to, because he's in revenge mode, he's doing more. So this guy is a little bit tough. Just a wee bit. Aye, laddie. Just a wee bit tough. You shit. And I did buy some more abilities for people. I didn't equip any of them. But I did buy them, because I had mana to spend. That I didn't want to use yeah. my skills. But I put the mana up to 340% because I thought it would be a, uh, it would be good. Because these people aren't given all that much XP, they're like level 90. I mean, because they are at 2 stars. I wasn't really planning on having them at 2 stars when I had this battle. Even though I actively put it down to 2 stars, so. But in my brain, I was like, oh, they're not gonna, they're gonna be like level 50. Because that's a no star like, level they're at. Yeah. He's got all those shadow counters. Uh, okay, so now... Now we have the fun part. Uh, you're a blue 
just give him a hit to him. Unfortunately. Um, what magic don't you like? You don't like wind? Well, unfortunately for you, I got a lot of wind. Um, might as well put you back there. <laughs> uh, that's just beautiful, being able to yeah! hit with so much of it. Rising Gale Kick right there. Um, unfortunately... Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything without also damaging my own people. Yeah, that's... that's unfortunate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her take him out. And then yeah. just do this. So that should do most of him. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm actually curious, because Killy can just be my uh, final guy. I'm actually interested to see how much damage this is going to do to him. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Wasn't, I was not expecting the Terrawind to just annihilate him. Although, with the damage you see it doing, like, yeah, it, it would have made sense. I just completely forgot about that, so most of that setup was pointless. Holy. These elite troops are tougher than I expected. <laughs> That's fine! Now this is what I call a fight! Right, Zero? Yeah. I can still fight more of them. If you can talk that big, then you could be doing much more, Plit. Sir Kilia, please leave these guys to us and go help the survivors. All right. Am I too late? Sir Kilia, behind you! Ugh. Serafina! Sarah! As expected, another victim. This is because you are weak. All because you are weak! I... I... What's happening? What in the red hell is going on? Bro! Christo, something's wrong with Bro! Tremendously powerful evil aura is surrounding Kilia. Is he being possessed by something, Clip? No. It looks like it's flowing out of Kilia's body. You guys are all dead. So I'm in control right now. Ooh, Kion. Okay. Huh. His movement square is all red. So I'm wondering. Let's go. I wonder if it's normal like that. Ooh. Die! show just in case some stuff new happens. Oh, this is, this is cool. I do like that design. Like where he gets the like red hair and the thing on his forehead. Let's go. And I like how he's not he's he's uh he's like teleporting everywhere. Die. 
And I'm only able to use the, his unique skills. Let's go. <laughs> and it seems like the other they're just not even getting a turn. Let's go. I'm wondering I wonder if this is even yeah, based on great. Ooh, I leveled. Let's I have go. to wonder if this like okay, so I don't one hit everything just base. It is dependent on my Die. Uh, high level and stats. Because I thought maybe it was just like I oh yeah, ended on the and gotta end on the throne. See, I had originally thought this was a, uh, oh, no MVPs. I had thought, because I remember this from playing on the PS4, I thought I didn't control this. I thought I hit move, and then it just immediately took over for me. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised, because I got to control it. Damn, it's so overwhelming. What a destructive power. He truly is a godly demon. Is this Kilia's true power? Y yeah, it must be. He must have grown like I did and super powered up. D do you really think so? But it feels really evil. Oh yeah, Crystal! We have to treat Seraphina right away, Flip! Oh, oh you're right. That was insane, bro. At this rate, Void Dark doesn't... B bro? What's wrong, bro? Get lost. Fuck. Zero! Something isn't right, Flip. This Kilia seems like a completely different person. Kilia! What in the red hell's gotten into you? You aren't Kilia. Who are you? I am Tyrant Overlord Kilidia, the one who leaves destruction in his wake. According to historians, the fall of Fortress de Gaulle greatly dampened the spirits of the rebellious demons. Though they knew about the aggression of the rebel army, they had no plans of taking their fight to Demon Emperor Void Dark directly. On the other hand, this faltering on the demons' part was convenient for the rebel army, since these demons wouldn't become further victims of the Demon Emperor. At least, that is how later historians came to view this situation. Episode 12, end. So this one only had uh, four, four maps. Ah! Oh, Sir Kilia is in trouble! What should I do? What happened, Sarah? It's not like you to be confused. My! Sir Kilia! Which one should I make my true servant? Oh! Pick me, Serafina! I will always make you happy! Serafina! You know already, don't you? I can please your every desire. Hey, we added one extra weirdo. Next time on The Love Game, episode 13, Double Sir Kilias. Yes, I do realize that there is a third option of picking both of them. <laughs> <laughs> That face, <laughs> so fucking cute and weird. Oh, I, lo I love that picture. That picture is great. <laughs> Who are you? I am Tyrant Overlord Kalidia, the one who leaves destruction in his wake. Tyrant Overlord Kalidia?
picking up unnecessary topics. Be careful. Disappear. Huh? Run, Lil Usa! Overlord, huh? Not bad. Kilia, I've always wanted to fight you for super real at least once. This is a perfect opportunity. Let's have a match to see who the strongest Overlord really is right now. Huh? Fool. Here, Lou Usa. The real fun begins now. What? Usalia, this place is dangerous. Let's fall back for now. You're not getting away. Whoa. Serafina, don't get close to him. That isn't Kilia. Die. We die together, Sir Kilia. Kilia. Sir Kilia? Sir Kilia! Episode 13, The Two Killias. Okay, so some interesting shit is going on here. Ugh. So, how is Bro doing? He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his condition has improved, Blip. But what should we do when he regains consciousness? If he goes crazy again, what's going to happen to us? <laughs> Don't worry, Lil Sisto. If that happens, I'll stop him. And this time, I'll super be the champ! You don't have to be excessively concerned. Sir Kilia will be all right. Probably. Sir Kilia! Y you are Kilia, right? Forgive me. I... Ah, don't worry about it. It was pretty entertaining. I'm glad he's back to being Kilia. I was wondering what was going to happen. Sir Kilia, can you explain what happened? Since it happened, there's no point in hiding it anymore. There's something vicious inside of me that I can't even control. It's the destructive impulse from when I was called the Tyrant Overlord. Destructive impulse? Yeah. It's a strong desire to destroy everything. Until now, I've been forcing myself to suppress it. Every day, even when I'm sleeping. And even now. But I'm at my limit. Is that why you're eating all the time? Because it helps you suppress your destructive impulse? This thing eats a lot. It takes an extravagant amount of calories to suppress it. But I can't use these cheap tricks to suppress it anymore. The next time it takes over, I won't... That's not like you. It's not like you to make such a weak excuse. Right, everyone? I concur. You are the leader of the rebel army, Kilia. We need you to be strong. If there is anything we can do for you, Please tell us. Th that is an order. Ha! Ah, if you can't control yourself, don't worry. I'll stop you. Even a child like Usalia was able to overcome a challenge, Blit. You'll be fine, Kilia. You will definitely overcome this, Blit. You guys? I'm sorry. I'll make sure to withstand this somehow. 
That's the spirit. Way to go, bro. I'll hold it back. At least until I defeat Void and get my revenge. Okay, so now we have even more mineral. Another exterior. Another research complete. So, yeah. <laughs> there, there was actually a plot. Oh, okay. So I did. It did count as two battles, and I don't have my carry anymore. Cool. Okay. To your heart's so, content. Uh, I'm just going to boop. Boop. Just to pop that up. Because more mana is always good. Because at this point, I just want to improve my skills. Especially for story reasons. Because the stories. Uh, what? The, the plot. Like, I don't have to use my skills all that much in plot battles. Um, you can do it. Now go. Bonus. You can do it. Okay. Now go. See, when it's complete and you, it's only at like these low percents, you can usually assume that at the bottom it's like. Oh, they're just exhausted. Okay. Damn, I'm surprised. They got, that means they got yeah, wiped. Dude. So that means I might have to actually... Let's go. Yeah, I was expecting this. I accidentally destroyed the netherworld. Because <laughs> that's just a thing you can accidentally do. Um, okay, that's ongoing. I'm going to heal everyone up and then send Let's fix you uh, them up. out on research again. Okay. And then we can do what? the conversations after I ingest and start cooking my next curry. So you didn't get... Okay, what level are you? You're level 90? There. That, that should be enough. If it's not, then like you guys are really weak. And I'm sad that you're, that you're even on my team. Good. Boring rampant. Okay, so these, these are level 100s. So these are decently tough. Three yeah. level 100s should be fine. You were you know, given a challenge. 22. So I'll just no printer. You yeah, can go. Dude. You, you got it. I trust you. Yeah, dude. Okay, one last ship I can do. So I'm just going to. All these people onto the ship. Yeah, dude. They're out. Okay. So then there's that. Let's go eat this curry. Uh, eat that. Make my own. So what I want to do is, um, I do need. Uh, I'll actually show one of the best, like one of the nicest things that you can do in. Uh, this game in terms of like item management, especially from uh, stuff like that. Okay, so Soma, I want the main ingredient to be this one. Uh, and then I can't see the details of all the other ones, so I'm just kind of hitting random here. I could have gone in and favorited the best Somas, but I'm not going to, because I knew that that first one was my best Soma. Okay, and then I'm going to this. I already bought the 100 thimbles uh, prior to beginning the episode. And apparently I just had a thimble already. So there's no real reason to ha to use more than one th uh, more than 100 thimbles because you're not going to get over 100% on uh, critical rate. Like you're not going to get like 101% crit. But I'm going to put it in anyway. Or yeah, I'm going to put it in anyway just because it's just one of the better things to do. So, Soma Curry, Soma Flavor. <laughs> See, your ingredient is Soma. And because I put in more than 100 thimbles, maybe it'll, like, maybe it'll increase uh, damage or something on it. Okay, so after all of that, before I start the conversations, let's just get everything out of the way. Let's interrogate these people. Drop them in uh, one, of the, one of the groups. Okay. But I just like to get everything out of the way first, and then we can do some more. Because it's not like we're in a rush right now. Because we haven't even started the next chapter. Um, and the funniest thing about this is I've gone through so much of it, I don't even have someone in it. 
It's all. Like, uh, because all these people are just in the uh, voting. And I want to have my main characters be in the capture squad because they're just. It's just better to have them in that squad in case I need to go grind out some uh, uh, sacrifices. <sighs> okay, let's check out quests because I haven't checked that out in a while. Uh, okay, so this is specifically. Okay, and now here's Twin Dragon. Review. So, Twin Dragon. I just need to have an orb that is rare or better. Include. I'll manually select it. That way I can pick. Yeah. Because rare just means that it is either silver or legendary. And you can have a legendary crap item. And the brave one. Ooh, Kiru Succubus. Strange feelers. I don't know where you get those. I might actually look that up. Because it's just a good thing. So. Uh, this is Prideful King. This is how you get another one of the Overlords, which I might actually do this episode just to uh, buffer out my uh, squads a little bit more. Because it's all, like having as many people as possible is always good. And then, as I said before, I wanted to show you uh, one of the cool things. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just do it with. Uh, Pram, because I don't, don't really plan on doing anything. Um, I want to condense fragments of power. So fragments of power uh, are basically just the... I had a 90 oh, so I that Like, when it's above, like, 90, you don't bother even looking at what people are. Uh, because you'll be able to just get it. For the most part. Unless you get really unlucky. Uh, the fragments of power are the uh, shards. So I had a lot of them, all different rank, uh, ranked, but now this just put them all into one, and I can just apply them to different people. And I don't know if it, I don't know if reincarnating gets rid of the bonus that these give you, because I have used a few of them on Kilia, uh, and I'm not sure if they go, go away when I reincarnate. Uh, that's something that would be worth uh, testing. Because I don't know Kilia's base stats at this point, and I'm not sure if, uh, if, whatchamacallit, if the, uh, bonus points you can get are the only way to improve the base stats. Uh, and the base stats are based on, uh, the, the reincarnation bonus stats are based on how many reincarnation levels you have stored, I believe, as well as the amount of mana you want to use. Um, and I did say I had more abilities, but I want to do a conversation first because I feel like I've just been going through all these menus, haven't really been doing anything. So, Usali's been made curry by herself for the first time, so that's good. I want Killy to have the very first plate since he was the teacher. And he's like, yeah, I'll eat it. Like, dude, I, I eat tons of stuff. And Killy, it's, oh, 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 oh. it's like, is it bad or is it good? Like, I don't know, because they don't give you that. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Better than Sarah's dark cooking. She uses dark matter. Shot him. It's actually quite interesting because in that cutscene, uh, she, Seraphina shot at Kilia, but I'm not sure if it act like, it looked like he deflected it or something, but she made contact with him, surprisingly. Uh, I believe in the first chapter when she tried to shoot me, just dodged it. Or, or like, grabbed the bullet. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is the curry I taught you. I knew I shouldn't have prepared it myself. No, it's not that. You're a little rough on the spices and the way you cut the ingredients, but it has a really nice flavor. The closest to the ultimate curry flavor I've been longing for over the past several days. Okay, so apparently it's really good. <laughs> ultimate flavor? What about your revenge? There's nothing for me to teach you. From now on, polish your skills by yourself. I want you to aim higher. Okay, so I will make ultimate flavor. Completely different story now. <laughs> it's, like we're, it's like we're playing a game based on cooking. Okay, so all that stuff is through. Um, is there anything else I wanted to? I haven't got any new notifications from the Innocent Farm, so I'm wondering if I have to have at least two demons in there. 
breeding innocence. So breeding innocence. If you store two or more innocence at the farm, sometimes you get more innocence. I don't know where they come from, but okay. High growth rate, so a lot of people want. Okay, so I need to have another person, another one in there. So what I am going to do, actually, is... I see that statue. Yeah, I put it on Durandal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to store him there. Because he can't get any higher, this one can't get any higher. But, I believe they can still have a kid. Which would be good, because the kid will come out subdued. At which point, I can then take this statue out, because it can't, it can't grow. Leave the new one to grow, subdue this one, and then combine them. I just need to make sure I don't combine the statisticians in the farm. And don't ask how the fox girl and the succubus can have a kid. Okay. So, I'm going to save after all that. Uh, so I wasted a bunch of battles waiting for, like, a statistician one to be born. But, unfortunately, you know, I wouldn't say it was wasted. I, I didn't, like, do battles just for the sake of uh, getting uh, innocence. So, right now we're running at, like, 36. Like go, so, this cutscene... Feeling well, Quip? Don't get ahead of yourself, bro. We can take care of the magical spear by ourselves. I'm all right. If I have to rest here, then I'll never be able to defeat Void Dark. You guys worry too much. Kilia won't go down that easily. So, where is the next magical spear that we need to destroy? It's in a netherworld that's a little far from here. It's called Flowerful. Flowerful? Why is it in such a remote netherworld? If he wants to absorb energy, then he should pick a bigger netherworld. I wonder what he's up to. Flowerful. What's up, bro? Do you know that netherworld? Yeah. That's where Goldion's house is. It was Lise and Void's home. Okay, so we find out that Void Dark is basically just trying to kill his home planet. And then there you can see, like, oh, that's Goldion's house. And it has tornadoes and stuff, which you could see in the background of the cutscenes that had Goldion one up. A nature filled netherworld that the constant winds make the plants and demons stronger. Okay, so instead of going into this one, I'm actually going to do the Prideful King one. Get this guy, and then maybe end the episode there, depending on time. Okay, here's Save My Netherworld, thank you for coming. I couldn't believe when I saw the quest, but you really did survive. Yes, I'm right. It's five to solve thanks to you guys. If you hadn't stopped the lost, I wouldn't be here right now. The proud overlord, since you saved my life, I want to devote it to helping you, and you'll become our ally. Correct, but only under one condition. I know you guys are all superb, but I want to know how strong you guys are. May I test your strength? If you can get the help of an overlord, I won't let the opportunity slip away. Thank you, let's go. One thing that surprised me during the cutscene where Brave talked was his voice. Like, I wasn't expecting that voice. It, I was expecting, like, a really deep, like, husky voice. But no, it was rather, uh... Rather un inspiring voice. So... Um, uh, da, da, da. Ooh, wait, maybe. Because I always forget. Top shot. Yes, top shot. Awesome. Leave it to me, Blip. Nice. Send Rosalia out that way. Let's go, Let's go, send. go! Oh, oh wait. Do this. Kill those guys. Kill that guy. And send Sorokin out so he can use his mad jump skills. And then I guess I'll have. I, n I definitely also need to go to the character world with. Uh, Don't get super reckless. With Christo, because right now, like he needs armor, he needs this to increase his hit and intelligence. He needs this to increase all his stats, but his movement is absolute shite at four. So I might need to go. Uh, I'll probably. I'm not sure if I will, but I definitely should. Might not anyway. I understand he's supposed to be a ranged character anyway, 
Oh yeah, got bombed. Whatever. Is it breath? Oh, crap! Just missed. Let's go! Here I go! Mega oh, health. Oh, crap! Harry Power! <laughs> you! Yeah. I'm going for it! Okay, one thing I did do is, uh... Oh, it's actually gonna kill somebody. Oh, that got countered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I did also, uh, upgrade the Murmur of Rage, because essentially there's no reason not to, because you can't use it unless you are in uh, revenge mode, which in turn makes it so the SP cost is irrelevant. So, that's why I want more mana. Well, one of the reasons why I want more mana. Because there's absolutely no reason for me to have a that move as weak. Like, it, it shouldn't be. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Um, you don't really need it. Uh, can you take him out? Yes, you can. Can you take them? I believe that other one is going to be taken out by Asabi, so let's just use Battle Orchestra for the sake of using it. Uh, let's oh yeah, seeing all the seeing all of that for what it is. Oh yeah, because just random support attacks for like no reason. Cross map. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's see if I can lift and throw you. What up? Yeah, your jump just barely isn't enough. So I'm going to be relying on Zoroken to, uh... Aw, oh, damn. Oh, so close. Nope. Gospel of Power? No. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to. Ah, there it is. Cool. Let me show. Yeah. Oh, nice seeing Cristo being able to kill something. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I wanted. I wanted. Uh, I wanted uh, the guys to come down. That way, kill you and still attack them. So what I'm going to do is I'm throw them my shield and pick up. Oh, crap. Boss guy, and just throw, throw him down. Oh. So now everyone's getting back around 600 health you. and like 100 SP. You. So, you. Okay. Let's just put you guys there. Pop you guys like that. Uh, still wearing it. No, let's split the crush. And here, blue rising heavens, but upgraded. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. I don't believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely not gonna survive, especially because yeah. there's support attack from anywhere Let's on the map. Quick. But, yeah, so bam! Really cool. Really cool. Gotta end it with an explosion that you don't look at. That's how you know you're a cool guy. First. Cool guys don't look at explosions. So, as the Overlord of Fortress de Gaulle, I, Brib, shall dedicate my life to you guys. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, I have to go tell the citizens of Fortress de Gaulle what's going to happen. I'll head over after I'm done. You should go report into the quest shop. Understood. So, that is one of the kind of the more annoying parts where it's like every quest okay. you have to report in. You can't, it just doesn't finish automatically. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, discovered, discovered. Quest Pride for King has been completed. There. So that was easy enough. So I'm going to review quest, conclude. Or, or Overlord of F. Degal. Let's fix you up. Okay, boink. And yeah, you're weak. What level are you at, bud? 70? Eh, it's not the worst. Okay, so. Awesome! I am going to do. Is I am going to put you in the Cyber Special Squad. Because no one's in there. So I don't even think I can use any of the stuff that I'm, I'm able to. Because uh, 
enemies won't perform. Like I'm wondering, I'm not sure if this makes it because I want I want to do press Y to see enemy thoughts because I think that's pretty cool. I, I'm not sure if this applies to everybody or if it's only to the people in the squad. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that it's only the people in the squad, but accuracy is pretty damn good. Uh, have flanking bonus, have flanking bonus against allies. So it, this one might be uh, might be beneficial of me to put Red Magnus in uh, because his accuracy out of everyone is probably like the least. But I can do that at some other point. So what I am going to do is I am going to end the episode here because we're like at the 45, 46 mark. So I don't, and I don't want to start uh, uh, the cutscene because we're gonna get one as soon as uh, we go into the next map. So. With this, I'll end episode 31 here. Buddy Bison, signing out, and I hope you all have a very nice day.